パッパッパッパディアーパッパッパッパッパッパディアーパッパッパッパディアーアーメン It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies Look at these views from cooking these foods Yeah All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? It's Papa Papa Dia time. Uh, my city got a, got a Papa John's. Uh, it made me obnoxious in the intro because Papa Papa Dia was just in my head. What is a Papa Dia? We ask. It's basically a calzone, but not, but like a quesadilla, but made out of pizza. So it's a Papa Dia. So basically, it's just like a folded over type of meat and cheese sauce thing. It's like pizza, but not pizza, and more quesadilla, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, with that information understood, I've had Papa John's pizza before a few times. Eh, not the greatest. However, we did just get one in the city, and they're slanging papadillas. Now, I don't know if it's going to be any better than just the regular pizza, and my interior pepperoni extra cheese loving ass is just saying, like, just get a pepperoni pie and have yourself a nice pie but i'm like also don't be boring try the papadillas you know what i mean so i think we're gonna papadilla today and then if it's decent and good maybe i'll come back for a hot hot pie for a try at this new location because you never know like it could have been shitty from where i got it from in the past but then better here i don't know these are possible things anyways i'll tell you right now i don't really mess with that garlic sauce that they have it's just like too runny and it doesn't make sense or something but uh we're on route <laughs> full transparency question for the driving community i'm driving in my slides right now aka sandals not used to it doesn't feel right not something that i like but trying it out trying to get used to it because it is summer but it isn't that hot out that's why i'm wearing a windbreaker because it's really not that hot out today but what i'm saying is is driving in sandals sketchy weird you love it you hate it i feel like people who live in hot climates probably do it all the time i'm not used to it, it just feels very strange to me okay very strange i'm gonna pop a pop my cherry with pop a papadillas all right y'all two hot papadillas kind of bigger boxes than i thought but i feel like they're only going to be like half because they're foldies but sniff test Smelling pretty Italian, that's what I got. I got the Italian papadilla and I got the barbecue chicken bacon papadilla. There was also Philly cheesesteak, meatball pepperoni, uh, buffalo chicken, and maybe one other one, but these were what were playing on my mind. So let's get into this, bring it down for the real thing to see what we're really looking at and then uh, see how they taste in my flavor hole. I had a first look, cracked the flavors, the, the flavor saver seal, the heat saver seal and Okay, I went with the spicy garlic on this one for the dipping sauce, but uh, I'll talk to you about that in just a second. But let's look under the hood here. So very hot, very spicy. You can see some heat coming off that. We got salami, pepperoncinis, we got cheese, and we have Italian sausage. And it looks nice and grilled and toasted. So yeah, she's really, really hot. And uh, let's have a look at the barbecue chicken bacon real quick. Pop the top for another surprise. Oh, that's looking less colorful and eventful, but fold it back and we got chicken, we got bacon, cheese, onion in there, I believe as well, but minced, it seems. I thought it wouldn't be. This one looks like it got a little, a little longer on the grizzle. Let's get these a try going. And yes, I did plan ahead. Y'all think he didn't bring his own <laughs> runny riz i know that pj's uh, ranch is trash but also once your ranch has been runny you know it's never gonna riz again you know like also felt inclined to bring a sour cream bottle squirter for the barbecue chicken so he planned ahead all right i gotta tell you all this for one thing's for certain these are piping hot hard to handle pockets of love like holy fuck that's so hot and they're just flippy flapping floppy vaginaing me everywhere Sorry that got aggressive, but holy shit, it was too hot to eat. I can't do it. Y'all know I like a hot, hot pie, but this is, this is 100% the hottest handheld I've ever dealt with. Wow. Okay, I need to give these a minute. Maybe one of the hardest things I've ever had to eat in my life. They need more time. 
The exterior is burning hot. The interior is like soft and steamy. But everything pushes and just the guts ooze onto your hand and burn and spill. Spill and burn your crotch and fingers. So, be back shortly. All right, I opened up their flaps for a while. I let them breathe. And now we're gonna attempt another attempt at these hot pockets from hell. So already I can tell you just design flaw. They're just so sloppy. They're so hot in the hand. Everything pushes and flips and floppies out. Like it's just not, it's really not fun. Should've listened to my instincts. And got the medium pizza. But here's to try new things. Flavor-wise, pretty good. Not mind blowing. The cheese and the dough itself and everything, like, I don't know. This doesn't have like big flavor. The Italian sauce is pretty good, but I feel like it's lacking in seasoning and flavor as well. Everything's just kind of bland, a little bit bland. Papadilla, more like slopadilla. Like, look at this. This is impossible. They don't make sense. Look what it's done to me. How will I recover from this? Am I in the clear yet? Holy, fold this over. And get her in. Hmm. Slopadilla. It's not a papadilla. It is a slop of deal, and that's it. Polar pop. It's definitely a knife and fork at home on a plate. Calzone, I thought I could handle it. I thought I could hot pocket it, but it's not hot. It's really not hot pocketable unless you let it completely temper down to like, you know, congealed cold. Otherwise it is the handheld from hell. I, 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 I strongly say this. Okay, the chicken bacon is seemingly more, more manageable. Less moisture in this one maybe because of the, there's the uh, pepperoncini peppers. Maybe there's a little different style of cheese in the other one too that was more moisture, had more moisture in it. which cause volcanic cheese slides. This one is definitely holding together better. What can I tell you? PJs, like I said, I've had in the past and it fell flat for me. And this time is no different. In fact, possibly worse. I, and I never understood people People were so into Papa John's. Like people love Papa John's. It's very bland. 
all the flavors in it just kind of meld into this one very bland experience. Even the barbecue sauce on this. It's just incredibly bland. No other way to explain it. It's a fail. Big time. The thing that's actually saving it is the sour cream. Chicken looks decently legit for pizza place chicken. Let's try it with the ranch. Pretty good. Because of the ranch. All right, I was hoping that would be a whole lot different of a video. First things first, I was gonna talk about some shit in this, but the whole adventure just threw me off guard and threw me into a whole just PJ's disappointment zone and we had to talk about the situation at hand like burning my hand everything like that um and I wanted to probably eat more of this like I wish it was inspiring me to eat more of it but it's really that boring and bland and pretty unenjoyable that I uh I don't even really want to eat it take it home throw it in the fridge nip at it when I get snacky but as of right now huge papa john's fail i was hoping that would be way more delicious way better should have went with the pepperoni and cheese medium pizza probably would have went down better than this but even then like i said i've had pjs in the past and it's not exceptional it's never been exceptional to me um and honestly i just don't think i'll really ever mess with it again i think this is like my last pjs experience unless it's like a only option you know what i mean but uh yeah the handhelds from hell papadia sloppadia sloppy idea it just it's a poorly executed idea i believe but like i said if you knife and forked it might be a different story okay <laughs> still the next one you know to do eat good live well stay true and probably don't eat too much papa john's because it's kind of trash all right